for joining us this evening. So this is our uh, our bright pink Moor Crusher so far. He's, uh, he's had two coats of lollipop magenta from Green Stuff Well. Oh, let's have a hydrate. Oh, there we go. Uh, two coats of lollipop magenta, and then uh, and then he's also had an all-over wash of some classic. In fact, I've used uh, used it all up pretty much. My old Citadel Bal Red because I was using the quartz magenta candy ink from Green Stuff Well, but it really wasn't dark enough, so we defaulted back to uh, good old Bal Red, which uh, I'm going to find a suitable replacement. Thank you very much, Moxie. That is extremely kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, you get it to work, Moxie. That's cool. Thank you. Awesome. Been having problems. Yeah, that's not good. So uh, yeah, so we've got. Hi, Anarimus. Good evening. Good evening. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, lost my train of thought now. Bright pink more crusher. So we're going to uh, work a little bit on the pink and what have you. So while I was waiting for the stream to start, I've just been touching in some of these bits that are going to be black and what have you, the or the metal and the strappage and what have you on its arms or uh, fists. And now we're going to move on to uh, doing something with the pink. So I'm going to dry brush um, some lighter pink over the top just to highlight it and then we're going to do some edge highlighting with the brush. So I just need to find a suitable, suitable brush here. Ah, let's let's use this. So this is a, a Rosemary, this isn't a Rosemary & Co dry brush, but this is a Rosemary & Co uh, brush that I have that I'm going to use as a dry brush. I think Sparky, uh, Sparky & Co's AOP is still hovering, floating around. See, I'm not cooling down with the kids. I didn't, uh, I didn't know what the EY up thing was, but now, it makes, but now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. <laughs> I yeah. can't claim to be cooling down with the kids, but if you hover over it, so, <laughs> and I've hovered over it um, before, and, and therefore knew. Uh -huh. So, so then we should have a little party for Moxie and like whoop. celebrations for. Uh, Oh, the fatty. <laughs> so we're gonna go for uh, ah, just pull the just pull the top. Be very careful with your paints when you're trying to uh, do anything with your uh, paints. Just be careful that this doesn't happen because that could have been a nightmare. Hi, red snail. Uh, so all I did was go to clean the end of the uh, of the paint bottle and then oh, it was nearly yeah, a, was nearly a disaster. Nearly a disaster. Right, so we're just going to get a little bit of, we don't need loads because we're just going to be dry brushing a bit of this on. So we're going to get our brush here. So this is, this is a Rosemary & Co Series 142 Small, uh, which is very much like a dry brush. And I thought that we would get it and trial it out. So we're just going to get a little bit of lollipop magenta on there. And then I'm going to start with a wing. And we're gonna just give it a give it a brush on like that across the across the wing or down the wing. So I figured I'd, I'd get this get this on, and then we'll once we've got it all highlighty pink, then I can start on doing some of the other spines and all the other like all these claw detail and all the rest of it on there. We can get all that in. Can't we? So is it nearly finished then? Oh, it's nearly there. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, we've got to paint the rider. There's all sorts to do with it really, yeah. See this isn't, this is only very subtle This because this is going over the top of what's already there. So it doesn't need much, but what's going to be the uh, the more stark highlight is when we move on to this magic pink in a minute. That's going to be that's going to be a lot more visible. So, what's your best tips for dry brushing? 
you need to make sure that you get most of the paint. Don't douse your brush in paint. Yeah, you need a, definitely a dry brush rather than a wet brush. Uh, but don't don't douse your brush in paint. So you can see because it's a brand new brush and it's clear bristles and the paint, you can see how much is really going on there. And then you're brushing a lot of that wet paint off onto a paper towel or something so you can see what's going off here uh, and then don't press too hard on your mini just gentle sweeps across and, uh, and then the other thing is target the areas you want so this that bit in there the fold we're not really going to put anything in there because the ink has, uh, has already shaded that as much as it needs to be we're just going to go with these raised areas. Right here. And you, yeah, definitely, you're better off going in one direction rather than like splodging around that way, that way. Try and keep the, uh, keep the light all looking as though it's coming from one source. Light dusting on there, on the edge, a bit on the top of the wing. I'm not working too much into the bottom here because you won't see that anyway once the wings are on. It's gonna get, before I glue the wings in position. It's gonna get a coat all over of. Uh, Hi Tony. Uh, it's gonna get a coat all over of matte varnish because um, I don't want it to be shiny. Right then, so let's move on to the big boy himself. So we're going to start with his face. A little bit on there. Sweeping back from his nose. So just before we uh, started, I said to Mrs. MLG about the, the horns. So originally I was going to do all the horns and the spines and everything. I was going to do them black, I was thinking. I was thinking like disco, uh, 90s disco theme, black and pink. Um, but then I think maybe that might be a bit too much. And Mrs. MLG suggested grey. What uh, what does everybody think for the horns? We do them like a darkish grey with a edge highlight of a lighter grey. I think that'd look, look alright. The ink has pulled just a little bit too much there. So that's my fault. I should have managed that a little better. So I'm just going to try and fix that a little bit by uh, brushing a little bit heavier there just to see if I can ma mask that a little bit again that's going to be hidden inside the wing so it doesn't need to be uh, too intensive just a, just a little bit Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of pink. Definitely a lot of pink. Is this pink enough for you, Pete? No. Not yeah. Really. Definitely, uh, definitely. Like I might paint more things pink. It's, been been good lollipop magenta liked it <laughs> not quite it needs to glow says pink well we'll see what you think to it in a uh, in a few minutes when we've had a, a coat of magic pink all over it and uh, see how that looks excuse me so uh, shake that bad boy up just have a quick hydrate while we're doing that sorry slurping right not used magic pink before so does it need oh no doesn't need squidging in the end Right, so we'll put that there. 
that does look a lot brighter than the other, doesn't it? Maybe I should mix the two together first, and then uh, then we can we can have an intermediate shade. Can't we? Let's just go from one wild pink to another wild pink. Give it some middle ground. Tony says, grey horns work. Maybe the more organic brown greys like Skaven Blight, Dinge and Dawnstone. Yeah, we'll have to, um, we'll have to have a look and see what we've got in the uh, in the cupboard, in the drawer. I'm not quite sure which uh, which of those I might have. Right, so we've just got a little mix of the two pinks here. Again, just a just a light brushing. So I'm not going to go down to the bottom of the wing there. We're just going to go the, use the top part of the uh, of the wing as our target area. And again, not not too much into that fold. say so myself. What did I say I was going to paint after the more? Oh, I'm going to do me Red Dragon, eh? that's what I'm going to do uh, Shavranar the Slayer, I think. Which I know, after talking to Sharon the other we, we, we assessed was actually a blue dragon, but I'm going to paint it as a red dragon. We got a new submission to the uh, customer gallery for the website today. That was a red dragon. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, cool, yeah. Who was that from? you have to have a look. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a look. It was this morning. It was hours ago. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I've got uh, still got that massive silver dragon to paint. Hmm. The um, Argent. But I want I want to do that in that colour scheme that I saw. It's like a I don't know, like an almost like a non-metal metal type thing, but not really. Don't be starting that lark. I, I know, I know, I know. I don't want to be starting that lark again. It was it was uh, it was a cool paint scheme that I'm going to try and emulate. It was uh, it was pretty funky. Yeah, def definitely need to practice on some smaller things uh, rather than get saying, "Oh yeah, let's let's do a dragon <laughs> in this really difficult color scheme." Yeah, and that's. Uh, At least you can say you tried. Yep, that's that's right. <laughs> I'm a trier. <laughs> very trying, my darling. Very yeah. trying. So what what colour do you use? So this is a mix of lollipop magenta and Majin pink. straight on to some straight up Majin Pink for a, for a final coat. And then, so my thought is that because I want it to look a little bit more realistic for a, <laughs> for a bright pink beast of destruction is uh, I was going to muddy up its, uh, its underbelly under here. So you'll notice that I haven't really like focused too much on this area uh, under there. So I was going to muddy that up so it looks as if it's just crashed to the ground and it's ready to uh, chomp 
or something. So it's just like flown through into uh, into the midst of a combat, and it's about to about to eat some unfortunate soul. So I started on his base the other day. There you go. It's uh, some some nice white. Thing. So this is going to be the base. I'm going to uh, see how he sits on there, and then position some bits of cork and other stuff. So he's on there, but the base is absolute. Well, I suppose the base needs to be absolutely huge for this base to uh, sit on. But that's uh, that's where we are. Right. So let's go for some straight up magin pink, which is, as you can see, quite a bit brighter. And then we'll see whether we need to add any white into that. I don't think we do, but see whether we need to add any white to that as a final highlight or whether this is going to be bright enough Monday, but what are you uh, what are you doing tomorrow on the seven o'clock stream? Uh, so tomorrow night on the seven o'clock stream, I was planning on painting or finishing a few minis. So I've got my uh, large group contribution to finish off my orcs. I've got some basing to do on. Uh, a duo and a trio and my great MLG brush off minis. They're uh, they're almost done. Just need the great bases. Great MLG finished. brush off. Well, well, funny you should ask that, my darling. The uh, the great <laughs> the great MLG brush off is a uh, community painting initiative. Should we call it? It's a uh, that's maybe a bit. Um, it's a it's a free to participate in just for fun, just for fun painting uh, group effort where you can for, all, all for, for anybody to anyone, anyone to enter and you can do that to be super good yeah. you can be absolutely awesome it doesn't you uh, paint, paint something, something that fits within the monthly theme, theme which this month is film and screen, screen I believe yeah and it rhymes I never even realised that before the theme is still on the screen. Look, yeah. see, it rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. You're a poet and you didn't no. know it. <laughs> you never heard that before. <laughs> you never heard that before. No. Have you? <laughs> oh, a sheltered little life you've led. Yeah. yeah. That's what you say when you say something that rhymes. You don't really say I'm a poet and I didn't know it because that rhymes too. You see. All right. I didn't know that. Oh, no, I noticed. <laughs> I noticed from the little thing. Yeah, I thought you'd done it as a pun on purpose. It was so cute, what it is. <laughs> Go then, sorry, uh, I, I interrupted yeah, you. That's, that's all right. So, the, yeah. so this month it's uh, film and screen, and I have uh, painted Batman. <laughs> Batman. Uh, so, yeah, I've painted Batman from my Suicide Squad set that I've had for quite some time and haven't finished so uh, I haven't, haven't even got started on painting so I've painted that and uh, so he's done and just needs his base finishing and then I've painted uh, a couple of goblin wolves which I'm going to submit to the RCL one for a duo and another that I'm going to submit as my monster contribution. So I've painted one grey and one like a brownie colour. So they're going to get uh, they're going to get submitted once it's finished. And what else have I done? Done Batman. Oh, I've done an orc stalker, which is for a trio for the RCL. I did say that I wasn't going to commit to doing loads of RCL stuff. You did. And, uh, and then, whoop, I've, uh, I've ended up doing like three things. Yeah, look at that. That looks alright, isn't it? Let's wash my brush out. So, let's just have a quick test assemble and see what he looks like. Is that the right arm? Yes. Is it? 
Yeah, that's the right. That's the right one. Let's, uh, oh, there we go. Right. So that that goes like. Mm, yeah, maybe. Do you need the instructions? No, it's fine. We need to play the Wild West music. There we go. It looks like that. So we just need to uh, just need to work on his. On his claws now. So, what do you think, everybody? Is it uh, bright enough? What call you doing with eyes? Mm, well, I don't know. I Has mean, he got any eyes? Yeah, it's got like <laughs> tiny little beady <laughs> eyes in there. Like, that's his. That's his tiny little beady eyes. And his teeth. And his teeth. So his teeth. I think his teeth need to be like normal tooth colour, but it's whatever colour we paint his claws and horns and stuff. I think he looks uh, he looks suitably bright enough, doesn't he? Right then, let's uh, let's get on with some. Certainly, what missing on the gaming table? No, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no uh, no chance of hiding him out, hoping nobody uh, realise. Well, to be fair, they're not going to have a chance to think he's hiding out because the tactic with this guy is to get him smashed into the enemy as quickly as possible. So uh, that's what we'll be doing. So, I'm just going to get the rest of these like straps and things that are on this. This, For some reason, this these claw um, bits of metal stuck to this wing take a lot more fastening on than the bits of metal stuck to this wing. So we're just going to get them blocked in in black and then we'll move on to painting the horns. Thank you, Moxie. So I have a, uh, I think I mentioned before, I have a second more pusher. I've started painting it uh, green because because I want to to uh, to use for Age of Sigma. And it was always my intention to have at least one, but uh, I have a second one. I've started painting that green. However, when uh, Little Miss and I were having a look through the uh, the army book this evening. She was, uh, she was reading about more crushers for school. <laughs> like you do. Hi, um, Wicked she, she was very excited. When I picked her up from school earlier, I was very excited as to whether I bought, brought the book home so she could read the section about more crushers. She really wants to read it. So, so we, uh, we read that for her after school reading time today. And I have just put in her book, More Crusher. Uh -huh. so, the teacher goes like, what's, what's this book about? Is it about puppies or unicorns? Like, uh, no. Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about huge wyverns that like, crash around and tear people apart. Oh, that's lovely, dear. Yeah, she, she, did, she did read some of the words really well. Yes, because it is difficult, obviously, with it being Games Workshop and some of the words aren't real words. Yeah. Are they? Some of, yeah, some of them are totally made up and she did really well. But, uh, yeah. I was saying the other day in, in, in the Discord, I was saying it was superhero day and they had to go as a superhero. And there was lots of spider men and there was some bat girls and there was all sorts of things. And Little Miss went as a dragon. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> and we had to do uh, dragon makeup in five yes. minutes before she went to school. Yeah. But, you know, that's yeah. fine. It's good fun. All good fun. The fact that she asked me to make a tail and some claws on the morning of school. Oh, yeah. And then I went, like, no. <laughs> if these were things that you required, then more notice is needed. But very grumpy with me because I wouldn't make randomly out of thin air tail and some claws yeah despite and the fact I'd asked her a million times whether she got all her costume and she everything was okay and we tried it all on and everything was fine yep 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 it's all great no now all of a sudden uh, well, she would have only about to take them off well, to get in her chair when you're running around in the playground and stuff they only get pulled and things you basically no i'm not doing it <laughs> You're such a mean I am, I'm horrible, absolutely horrible. I offered her to wear my hoodie. 
Yeah. You did. Which, you know, has got a tail and spikes oh. attached to it already, but that wasn't good enough, so... You know, alternatives were offered. But anyway, she was fine. So this bit that I'm painting here, for some reason this... This more crusher has got a bandage around part. I presume it's a bandage around part of its wing that seems to be threaded through its wing itself, which is a bit strange. But uh, you know, obviously a design choice from the miniature designer. From the art that's riding it, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like he says, just think how fitting your more crusher is for today. Why? 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 Is that because it's that um, commercially manufactured holiday? Oh, yeah, we don't do Valentine's Day. Is that what you mean? Because it's Valentine's Day. We don't, we, don't, we don't celebrate that malarkey. We love each other every day of the year without, without an overpriced bit of cardboard to tell us to. <laughs> but yes, I suppose if you, if, you, if you want to, if you're watching with the loved one and you want to uh, take this Mokushiri in a romantic way as like oh look my darling let's watch this stream because it's really romantic then you know it's crack on yeah, valentine's themed pink <laughs> honest <laughs> honest go yeah we, we don't we don't do that malarkey yeah. if we did that kind of malarkey then we wouldn't we'd have got to cancel the stream for like going out for meals and the like, and rhubarb like that, wouldn't we? So, yeah. good job we don't want to I can't remember the last time I even got you uh, some flowers or anything. We don't need them, do we? Then they die. I'm not very good at looking after things that are alive. <laughs> Sparky <laughs> says we've missed the marketing opportunity. <laughs> No, no, I don't do that. He says, I got a paint trio out the other day. I'm not. What? Hey, I got a paint trio out the other day. Oh, wait, you got. Did you get that as a present? Is that what you mean? Oh, you see? But how strange is that, though, Wicked Day? Like. Even last year or the, or the year before, if you would have said to yourself, I'm going to get some paint for Valentine's Day, you'd have been like, what? Paint? Who wants that? And now, you see, now you're happy. Look what this hobby's done to you. Yeah. You're happy to get paint. If it had got you paint two years ago, you'd have kicked off. <laughs> but what am I going to do with that? <laughs> yeah. Tony so said, Kathy and I get suitably insulting cards for each other from a cheap section and leave it at that. <laughs> you have a different sense of humour to me though, don't you? Do I? Yeah, well, some, some of the things that you think are funny are just not funny. Yeah. <laughs> I found the perfect anniversary card the other day in the shop. But we don't, but we don't send those either. I know. I bought it because it was 29 pence. Yeah, you bought it because it was 29 pence and then really confused me and Little Miss because it's nowhere near our anniversary and you'd gone for a wedding card. Uh, no, I'd you'd gone, gone for three gone for, You'd gone for a wedding card and a christening card and then you came back with this 29p card that was like a bit insulting and I'm thinking, well, we can't send that. That's, that's, re that's really mean. And the <laughs> it's their wedding day. They're not going to want that. But you got it because you just thought it was funny. Yeah, I thought, I thought that you would get the joke because we'd been talking about something similar recently. Yes, but I didn't get the joke because you hadn't told me it was for us. You yeah. just handed me the wedding and christening card and then just this horrible card that I thought, well, I can't send that to our friends. If you'd have gone, oh, this is for you, <laughs> then I'd have understood. <laughs> well, hey ho, never mind. You see, look now, look what you've done with Kid D, setting us off on these silly. Valentine's Day nonsense talks. Yeah. Yeah, it's your fault, man. So let's change the subject. What are you doing now? What am I painting? I don't know what this guy is that I'm painting. He hasn't got a head. Who is he? That, that thing. But he hasn't got a head. Oh, right. Why ain't he got a head? Because it's over here. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, Mrs. is painting, painting a. Uh, is a, I think a, it's a goblin. He's a goblin. And he's got 
Uh, he's like a one-man band goblin. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's out with the, uh, the Kickstarter stuff. So he's got an accordion and a like a hornpipe thing, and then he's got a. He's got a drum as well. Drum. He's a one-man band. Yeah. I don't know what. Did he come out with Kickstarter? Or something? He came out with Kickstarter stuff. He did indeed. Found him while we were looking for something else, I think. And thought, he'll do. <laughs> we'll do him. <laughs> you found a couple of uh, minis while you were looking for other stuff, didn't you? And thought, like, I like the look of that. We'll paint some of that. Well, I'm hoping this is going to be for the ICL, but I don't know if they'll accept it or not. But I'm uh, going to see. He's got massive hands, though. His hands are really badly sculpted. Like huge, ginormous hands. No, don't, don't say things like that too loud. If someone from Reaper's watching, they might discard your uh, Maybe it's supposed submission to on that base. Yeah. And they say they don't have a sponsor us or anything, so they can't stop that. Yeah, slagging our minis off. But they are, they're huge, like huge. I mean, I understand that they've got to get round the accordion and everything, and if, if you did real sized goblin hands, you probably the miniature wouldn't work. But they are massive. <laughs> but anyway, it was. Uh, I think he's supposed to be like the bad because they did a selection of goblin minis. That, so there's one that's a rogue type, and there's a, a pretty sure there's a wizard one and stuff, and a, and a more armored goblin. <laughs> Sparky says it's just a small accordion. <laughs> You'll have to show them now. So I don't just. And they'll all go, no, that's what our size hands is supposed to be. Because he's out, he stick his head on, like. No, let me, without, let, without me, let me just finish this bit now. I suppose sure. when his head's on, actually, they don't look that bad. Really? No, maybe it's because he ain't got a head. The headless goblin. Yeah, and why are you painting him without his head on? Because I can't get my paintbrush between the mouth thing to get his jacket if he's got his head on because his chin's too uh, long. And he's, he came without a head on, I haven't chopped it off. You're just obviously supposed to grow it on. But that is the reason because um, if you put his head on, his chin comes too far down and then I won't be able to, with my low level of skill, I won't be able to get my paintbrush down without covering everything in whatever colour that's going to be. Yeah, nearly headless goblin, that's it, to replace nearly headless Mick. <laughs> <laughs> the mouth thingy, yeah, the mouth thingy. It's, like, it's got like a pipe, um, windpipe, I can't think what they're called. Panpipes. Panpipes on top of his accordion, because he's a one man band, and then there's drum on his back, which isn't attached either. But yeah. So, the boy will show you his massive hands in a minute. I will. I'll do it now before I get intent on uh, painting those bits. Where's his head gone? Oh, I thought you were putting his head on so people could see his hand. I just heard something weird from behind us. Is it just me? Is it just me or, or do uh, they look really big? I think he's got Maybe unnaturally he's large hands. His hands are bigger than his feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, that would be like me having an arm as thick as this paintbrush and then my normal hand. Anyway, so there you go. There you go. But I mean, you know, when he's got his head on, they don't look quite. No. Maybe if I painted them better, they wouldn't look. But I just thought, wow, they're big hands. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Doesn't take a lot, does it? Doesn't take a lot. No, it's the dog deciding which which of the three beds he's now got he wants to sleep. Because <laughs> even though we've got we got him a new one, we haven't got rid of the others. Yeah. That's well, he's feeling very grumpy today. Mm, still, uh, still got new teeth to come, so. Being a We've got new, uh, new thing. Had every time, every time I say we're not having any new stuff. We're not having any more new stuff. You know, because we ordered it last night. Wait, I'm cold. I know. So. Oh, oh, okay. I know. I, 
I got confused because I know it's not come. So I thought, uh, well, what's what's arrived in you know deliveries today that he's not told me about? All uh, right, we've had a restock of Instar paints, which I haven't uh, processed yet because it didn't come with any paperwork. God, that's rubbish. Yeah, but that's just a restock because we needed some of the water plus cleaner stuff and soap. Yeah, and soap, soap and all the other bits and pieces. Mm. Well, if you want to tell everybody that you're stocking another stuff, then you can. Yeah. But then we're not getting we're not getting everything though, are we? We're not. No, we're just gonna we're gonna stick to we're, we're being the, good. Yeah, we're, we're gonna stick to uh, the new releases and then we're uh, and pre-order items and then we're gonna uh, we'll get other stuff in if people want it. All right, let's just see what Sparky said first before you say. Uh, I've heard their top tier paints. What the Insta? Is that, is, that, is that what you mean? We've had in starring for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, we just got a restock because we'd sold out of some stuff. Um, Hamish, Goblin Squire uses them all the time. They're uh, they're a lot thinner, aren't they? You you've used them. Yes. They're a lot they're a lot thinner. They, they don't really need anything in down at all. I'm I'm gonna really have another go with them. Specialist. I think you have to get used to them. If you've been used to Reaper or Games Workshop or whatever, they are they, they are completely different. And they're designed to be like layered up and mixed together to create all different colours, which I know you can do with any paint, but these are these are like specially designed for that to, to give you more creative flow really, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, yes. we have we have had them for, for quite a while. But then, you know, we've got so many paint ranges, it is difficult to remember what we've got. So, sorry. Uh, yeah, what, sorry. What were you, uh, what were you going to tell yeah. everybody that you've decided that we're going to get in? Right, or well, I've decided because you, I'm you, really rubbish at not letting you get new stuff. You new decided stuff. Uh, that we should get some, and then I said okay because <laughs> I think they're cool. Uh, so we're going to get some uh, weird miniatures, Malifaux. Stuff. We've been asked a few times about stocking it, and there isn't many places uh, locally that do stock it, so we're going to get some in. So we're going to have the, the most recent releases, and uh, and then we're going to get some of the new stuff in as it arrives. And then if anybody wants any of the like, things that have been out a little while uh, ordering in, we can order those in and we'll get them in. The, uh, the only problem with... <laughs> I think Sharon likes that idea. Oh, are, you, are you happy with that, Sharon? Malifaux minis? When we looked at the uh, when we looked at some of the range last night, Mrs. MLG saw something that she wants straight away. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Right. And I've warned her that they generally come in lots of small parts, Malifaux minis. There is, Tony, there is a, like a, a little bundle, so... You have to tell people that you don't know. Ah, so Tony's asking about the Instar paints if there's like a, a bundle or something that you start with. Now, one thing about Instar paints is if you if you go to Instar's website themselves, you can buy pre-mixed uh, paints of virtually any composition that you would like. And... Uh, and they have all manner of colours. But the idea with the range is, and if you bear with me just a moment, I will, uh, I will stop what I'm doing and I'll grab some and I'll just try and help. Bear with me. I've, I've discarded the boxes. Uh, but there's a couple of sets that you get. So there's a flesh set and a primary set. And I think the primary set has got... Uh, Mrs. MLG could look it up for me and, and double check. But I think... Yeah. I think the primary set comes with... Um, I think the primary set comes with those. Five. Let's have a, let's have a little read. So the primaries set, 
the Instar Discovery set. Is that the one? That's the, the one. Nine pounds and twenty pence at that, NLG. That's the one. Uh, it comes with pure black, pure magenta, pure warm blue, pure yellow, and pure white. Boom! Got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Product knowledge. <laughs> I do. <didn't care. laughs> So, this is the primary set, and the idea is that with your colour wheel, um, which uh, you can you can look at, uh, there's a resource on the Insta thing. Yeah. Here, here is a uh, here is a very handy green stuff world colour wheel. But uh, with your primary colours, yellow, blue, and magenta, and then the black and the white, that you could pretty much mix whatever colour that you could possibly desire. Now these little pots are. Um, 10 milliliter pots and you can buy the paints in larger quantities and then they sell all manner of syringes and other bits and pieces for you to be able to mix like half a milliliter or whatever of each color so you can blend them all together and then spare bottles and things so you can mix all of your own paints and then they do a flesh set i think it is um, which is these four pure black pure purple pure oxide red pure oxide yellow and a pure white because I've got a pure white on the work bench here um, and they are for mixing flesh colours and there's maybe ooh, I don't know maybe another half dozen ten colours which are variants of these so there's an orange and a um, there's a couple of different like pigments of so there's a couple of different yellows there's a pure oxide blue, I think, and a couple of different ones. Uh, and the idea is that you mix these together. Anyway, well, these have been sat in the drawer, Sparky, so they've, uh, they've settled a little. But yeah, they are very, uh, very fluid. Very fluid. And um, yeah, so the idea is that you mix them. For, for someone of your uh, skill, Tony, I'm sure it would be an absolute doddle. But you, uh, yeah, so you mix all your own colours and they're very thin, so you can layer them up very much like a kind of watercolours technique, I think, is the, uh, the idea. Now, I tried them and I don't think I was doing it quite right, so I'm going to give them another go. Uh, and they also do fantastic, like, brush cleaning products that are very reasonably priced and apparently smell amazing. So. <laughs> There we go, but I haven't tried those yet. Um, but we have tried the paints. I, I just, it was a different painting style than I'm used to, so we're gonna have to give it another, give it another whirl. I think. So uh, the next mini I paint, I might give them a try. But that's what I said though, wasn't it? That's what I said, be used to Reaper Games version, so they are a completely different animal. That's right, yeah. Um, but I, I think that they are for, you know, they give you more creative range, really, yeah. to be able to mix stuff. But it's just, I mean, I, I don't think I would get on with them because I'm just so used to just using Reaper all the time. Yeah, and, and they do have um, guides on their website, a whole array of guides that tell you. Um, so if you've got a particular paint, say GW, um, that you love, let's say Skaven Blight Dinge, that you can uh, you can mix that Skaven Blight Dinge by using the, the chart on their website. Um, they've got most colour matches on there and they, I think there's a section that says if, if it's not listed, um, the colour that you want to match, just let them know and they will find a match for you so you can um, get the right quantities of stuff. So you can buy uh, paints in up to 200 milliliter uh, volumes and, uh, and obviously all of these are in stock at Mighty Lancer Games. They do do a, a comprehensive set which is about £150 I think which, which we have got it. Yeah. We've got one left in stock because I saw it today. Uh, yeah but Hamish, Hamish uses them all the time so yeah. um, if there is any questions Ooh, yeah, that we, we haven't answered, then uh, in the Discord, Hamish might be able to, to help you out. But, but basically, that's that's basically them, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, that's it. 
Yeah. The uh, the big starter set that they do comes with a variety of the mixing pots and other bits and pieces. It's a, it's quite a weighty box, so you do feel like you're getting your money's worth. Wait until they arrive just to make sure what we've ordered is going to come. I think so, yeah. I think so. Uh, certainly, we're getting, I think it's the 14 or 15 most recent releases, and then the um, next, whatever, eight, seven or eight releases are on pre order. So we've got uh, a fair bit sort of in the, in the running. And then also, if anybody around that likes historical gaming, I've also today uh, ordered some uh, Flames of War, new Flames of War starter sets. So they've, uh, they've done a new couple of new starter sets for uh, the desert campaign. Italian, I think it's Italians and British and might be Americans and Germans, I can't remember exactly. Uh, anyway, we've ordered, I've ordered some of those today, so we'll have some of those hopefully soon. Collect box. Now then. I can't, I, I can't, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. I could, I could tell you after the stream, because I can have a look at the, uh, the thing that tells me what I've ordered. And what I will say is, if we haven't, um, if we haven't ordered it, then I can get it added on. If uh, if that is something that you would like. I have actually got some Malifaux minis uh, that are still in the boxes from quite some time ago that I've never got, not got around to doing anything with. But they uh, they brought out. A, I think we're on third edition of the game now. I'm not sure if the stuff that I've got is still from the first edition. However, the minis are awesome. I think that some of them have just been repackaged as well, because I'm pretty sure that one of the minis that I used to use when we were playing... Uh, in Her Majesty's Name was a Malifaux mini, and I'm pretty certain it looks the same in the new starter set. Mr. Graves. It's the, like... Dancing ladies, and huge, and stuff. huge fella with it. It does say that the box is out of stock. All right. That does look familiar. And then there's smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. I can't, I can't remember, but I'll check. I will check. It did say that the. Okay. okay. I'll have to see because our stuff is coming from a UK distributor. So. Thank you, Moxie. It's great to oh. see you. Thanks, Thanks Moxie. Moxie. And thank you for the servers always. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. What, what colour do you think we should go for well, these eleven eyes? months, Moxie. Eleven months. Yeah, what hours? Have we, we been, been streaming that long? That's what I said. I can't even. Can't even get me head around that we've been streaming that long, let alone that you daft sausages have been watching it that long. <laughs> now then, do you think do you think a bleedy uh, bleedy a beady little black eye in uh, in glossy black, or do you think it should be some kind of bright colour? Do you think like beady little black eyes would be good enough, or do you think it needs to be like a bright yellow or something in there? I'm not sure. Sparky says there should be green. Green, green eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah, we could, could do green, green eyes. eyes. That, that would clash with pink, wouldn't it? That would be a opposite colour or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that would be good. Could be a bit like a nice intense green, so it looked like it was. Uh, 
Yeah, might do that. They're just so tiny. They're, yeah, they so are very small. I used to know Eric, the co-founder. There was a group of us on an Aussie forum. They had one of the guys from Weta that worked on the Black Gates too. Cool. Days. I told you it was everybody. Uh, he says Minute Green would work really well. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to, uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But right now, I'm going to see if I can find a grey to use for these uh, these horns. Oh, you've only got ten. Oh. Uh, you, <laughs> you do, Sparky, you do. It was never in doubt. You said green, weren't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> never in doubt. Vicky D says, I was just in the kitchen getting my tea. Then, has it been tw- 12 months since you started streaming now? I don't know, it's nuts. It's maybe 11 months because Tony and Moxie were one of the first people, which is why they've got the number little ones, and they've been subscribed for 11 months. So, like, but it's that's just nuts. And we ain't got any better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, it was still the same. And he's over there rustling and making a lot of noise. <laughs> we're still the same. I was just wondering what grey is there. I just thought, while you were talking, I forgot that everybody can see me. Yeah, everyone can see you've disappeared. Everyone... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but then... Uh, I'm sure you were already streaming before you finished work, Ricky D says, yes, and I handed my notice in at work a year ago last week, which is equally extremely scary. So, I don't know, where does the time go? I don't know. It's well, because we've not got any work. That's, that's, <laughs> well, that's, thank you. Thank that's you. very kind um, of you. Just, just what we needed good. to hear. I mean, but that's good, you know. We could have done it, anyway. Yeah. I'm going to use some of this uh, this dark grey. Oh, Tony joined the very first MLG stream. Aww. I'm going to use some uh, some green stuff, well, dark umber that Mrs. Uh, Mrs. MLG says is just grey. It is just grey. Uh, Wiki D says, I know it was the beginning of March when you ditched me. Hey, I gave you an opportunity. An opportunity yeah. for a career diversion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ad- yeah. Advancement. <laughs> well, I, I won't be able to put it. Doing my job is not an advancement, is it? <laughs> Especially when Wiki D has to do her own job and my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a big meanie. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, a year ago, last week, since I made the boss cry and he's never spoken to me again since. No, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even get a Christmas card or anything. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, he said he was still going to invite us to the Christmas party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hadn't I worked there very long, though, I'd have said. Oh, yeah, just how many years? Don't know. No, no, no. Well, you were working there when uh, when we met, so it's got to have been... Uh... But then, you know, the 90s were only three years ago, so yeah. it's not, yeah. not that long at all. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell, tell everybody about the meme thing. The, uh... I don't know, because it doesn't really... No. Yeah, you had to be there. It's not really... yeah. Tony says, let, let, left the rat race for the glamour of stock updates on the web page. Yeah, at least it's warm. At least I control the heating. Well, to be fair, though, I control the heating in the, in the office, so that's not really good. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate music. Yeah, we've gone all um, lift music, haven't yeah. we, while we nostalgia back to how long it is since... I worked in my proper job that was stable and had a wage coming in. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's uh, two and a half years or something since I left mine. Yeah, but yours was a proper, proper job. Yeah. I had like one of them pensiony things and things. Still suck there. Yeah, you, you weren't a happy bunny, were you? Are you a happy bunny now? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you talk to my mother, you shouldn't be. I mean, yeah, you know, she asked us if we were shutting the shop, didn't she, today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that vote of confidence there, ma'am. Because... Because uh, all, the, all the bills are going up, so, you know. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are, uh, I mean, understandable. 
if if any of you uh, you guys are but it seems like a lot of people are really really panicking about this hike in uh, gas and electric prices well yeah because it's ridiculous i've told you we're just not having the heating on and that's the end of that that's that's well, our that's fine we don't, like we don't have the heating on at the shop anyway do we because there isn't any we're all just have to huddle around that one piece of coal <laughs> Tony says, mine was a proper job with a corporate benefit package and I was miserable. Yes, that is what um, Nathan's was. He had a company car yeah. and, a, yeah. and it was a very good, if you, you know, from the outside, a very good job. Um, we were very lucky. Well, we weren't very lucky, were we? You, you worked your way up from the bottom. Yeah. Up and uh, absolutely mentally and physically drained every single day. Had to stay away from home lots. Had to work Christmas days and things like that on call and messing about. But from the outside world, um, it looked like the best job in the world. But it really wasn't, was it? And this was your dream. You're living your dream. Uh, I am. (laughs) Living your dream. He's lost all his hair, living his dream. You had hair before. You even had hair when you retired. (laughs) Now you... (laughs) This is your dream. I know. <laughs> so stressed, all your hair's falling no, out. No, I've only got no hair because we've shaved it off. That was like different. Isn't it? Yeah, but we've only shaved it off because it's disappearing on its own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was just because I was going grey. I thought you. Uh... Oh, you you were grey the moment that you said I do, darling. That that's what happened there. Your hair went <laughs> no. That was that was another my parents being lovely. My parents do love me lots, by the way. But what did my dad say to you? Actually, are you, are you really sure, though? Because she's a git. <laughs> no, yeah, something like that. And, th- and then he rang me on the day, didn't he? In the morning. We were getting married at, like, 2 o'clock or something. And he rang me in the morning and said, uh, are you still coming? <laughs> and I said, of course I am. And he was like, oh, I suppose I better get dressed then. <laughs> but, or uh, best, dad. <laughs> best put my suit on. Yeah, mum was getting really angry with him because he wouldn't get ready and she was shouting at him and he's going, but there's ages, if I put my suit on now, you know, it could get something on it or whatever and she was getting real. In fact, she was so stressed and no, and like nobody else was, it was really weird. Were you stressed? You looked very white. I was, you, you were I was extremely slightly. nervous. Yeah, I've never married anybody before and, you know, these things are... Well, neither have I. Well, I know, but... You were really calm, weren't you? Yeah, because I love you. <laughs> well, I was... You, you didn't have to stand up in front of everybody and do speeches and stuff, did you? Oh, you did get heckled in your speech. I didn't get heckled I mean, in your who, speech. Who, who else, right, in chat, has anybody, has anybody married, and if you married, who else got heckled in their own wedding speech? I mean, who, who else has that ever happened to, apart from Nathan? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, I didn't... I didn't, I didn't. Right. Stand up people you invited to the wedding, no, 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 then they were my mum's friends. I didn't invite them. We could do this. I was marched down the aisle crying. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, me and me and my dad were just being silly outside. We slightly worried the vicar because we, we told him we weren't going in and he believed us, but we were just being silly. <laughs> Sparky didn't do speeches. Well, you couldn't get heckled then. Maybe that's what you should have gone for. Yeah. Well, it's not doing speeches, but then I don't suppose you ever really thought you were going to get heckled by like mm. people who'd come to watch you get married. No. Um, Lord Virus of Nurgle uh, has... I've been married, but I never had to do a speech. I've been married and never had to do a speech. Wicked D says, I burst into tears because everyone turned around and looked at me. That's what they're supposed to do, Wicked D. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. I can honestly tell you, I don't know who was there because I just had my head down head down and got to the front and then lots of things went wrong on our wedding day didn't they you got your veil stuck in the grate yeah we, we, we got married at the, at the big priory church in town um, and i got my veil caught completely wedged and had to uh, got, hold on to it with both hands and yank it out of the grate in the floor they dropped the wedding cake <laughs> they forgot to tell the choir boys to turn up so there was no choir that we'd asked for because no one ever sings do they yeah. so we'd, we'd ordered and paid for a choir so that because it's a massive place so there was some, at least some noise and not just my grandma doing her church impression with the hymns and they forgot and they didn't turn up yeah 
What else? Oh, the car broke down. The wedding car broke down on, on, the, on, the, on morning. the morning of the wedding, a couple of hours before it was supposed to pick me up. And we got the dogs some big bones from the butcher's shop to keep them entertained until uh, one of the parents could go back and sort them out. And they got into the garage and had the bones before I'd even got my wedding makeup on, but I had other wedding attire on and I had to stomp off into the garden and get the bones off the dogs because nobody else dared to do it. So it was great, it was absolutely great. Oh, and my bridesmaid asked me if I was sure that I wanted to marry Nathan and didn't want to get back with my ex. Really? And my mum threatened her with a kitchen knife. You didn't tell me about that. Yeah, I've told you about that before. I've told you about that before. My, my ex ran off with his best friend's girlfriend. So it was, it was lovely. It was absolutely lovely. So why she would even bring that up on the morning of my wedding, I don't know. But she, my mum threatened her with a kitchen knife. So that was she fun. drunk? Um, <laughs> no, in the probably, but she shouldn't have been at that time in the morning. <laughs> Tony says, our vicar did a sound check from the back of the church by saying in a really deep voice, testing, one, two, this is the voice of God. <laughs> that would have been nice, I love that. <laughs> Wicky D says, we couldn't book the choir as they were off when, I, when we got back. But at least you weren't expecting them. I was expecting them to be yeah. there. <laughs> they weren't there. <laughs> but yeah, when we arrived at the reception and the woman came out and went, I'm terribly sorry, but we just dropped the wedding cake. I was like, oh, great, thanks. Yeah, what? Something else happened as well. Didn't something else go wrong? There was like three things went wrong. Three major things. Oh, I got, s- got stuck in the grate. The car broke down. When you dropped the cake, the choir didn't tell us four. <laughs> Oh, the wedding rings weren't right. Oh, yeah, the wedding rings are dodgy. The wedding rings were well dodgy. We asked for... Uh, what are they? What are they made out of? They were platinum. And they were platinum wedding bands, silver. And they were supposed to have... And they've got have... an indent in the middle, and they were supposed to have black... What's it called? Rhodium plate. Rhodium plate. Oh, look at us. Black rhodium plating, right? So we went and picked them up, and we paid for them, and we took them back. And mine's quite small, so mine didn't um, really notice, but... Nathan's got a lot bigger fingers than I have, because, you know, I've got bigger hands. Not yeah. quite as big as this goblin. But by the end of the wedding day, the black rhodium plated had, uh, had come off. Because so it turned really... out that the jeweller who made our wedding rings had just coloured the black in with a sharpie. Um, so, yeah, so our wedding rings are, haven't got any black at all in them anymore. Unless, like, unless we keep just colouring them in with a sharpie, like the jeweller did. Yeah. Then, uh, then, yeah, so they're just silver now. <laughs> and then we took them, <laughs> took them to another jeweller in town who said, like, oh, well, actually, you can't do black rhodium plating like he said that you could. Uh, so uh, he's, he's fibbed here there. And, uh, and that was a bit rubbish. But he did tell us that it, we hadn't been ripped off, didn't he? You remember? Maybe can't remember. He, t- he told us that the price that we paid for the rings was how much they're worth. But yeah. I mean, the guy, the jeweler guy, should have just said that can't be done, or yeah. not even offer. I mean, we had never even heard of rhodium plating, so why yeah. offer it us and then colour it in with a sharpie? What yeah. a git! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, our wedding was awesome. Yeah, Happy it, was, it time. was awesome. It was it was the best part I've ever been. The best part, yeah. Well, we had a live band playing ACDC and all that kind of thing, and then we had um, a live band that played like um, what's What's it called? What did he play to start off with? He played like rap pack and stuff. Yeah, yeah. To, st- that to was, start off with. That was what we had our wedding song. And, and then your dad got up without us knowing. Yeah. Um, with his little troop and did some country songs. Yeah. Didn't he? Well, that was like a surprise. Penny arcade. Yeah. So we had it. Yeah. That was cool. It was. We had all sorts of music for all generations because we liked them all. So that was and then, uh, was it four tables of guests didn't bother turning up? No. Yeah, because that, two made, tables, two that made it, well, it, they were big round tables, and that made it that the band could spread out, so it actually worked out. But, yeah. like, oh, just don't turn up for a wedding. You know how expensive these things are. I don't know said, my wedding was fun, but yeah, we felt rough the next day, though. Yes, I think uh, you might have felt rough uh, the next I day. I felt quite rough the next day. <laughs> And then, 
Well, Scuff got mixed the next day, though. Do you remember that? Ah, yeah. That's so... That's so... <laughs> that's what we remember. <laughs> Something else. So we'd, we'd made all the table decorations ourselves, uh, like, like you do. And we'd been to Ikea in various places, and we'd got some vases, and, you know, because this was years ago, and you put... I don't know, whatever we'd put in the bottom of them and then flowers coming out and tra la la. And the next day at the venue was a craft fair and someone had stolen all of them. We'd like gathered them all up to take them away and someone had nicked all of our table decorations, all the vases and all the malarkey that we had. I can't remember what we had, had on the table and someone just stole them. Yeah, we, the, the hotel, hotel had told us to leave them all to one side and we could pick them up in the morning. There's those wicked details, wicked details. Did yours disappear into a craft fair like mine? Yes, yes they did. I think they plan it like that, don't they? Oh, there's a wedding. There's a wedding the day before. Come come down and we'll just go, oh, sorry, they must have thought that they were theirs. What? Yeah. <laughs> Tony says, got a photo of me somewhere the day after I looked like a ghost. <laughs> well, our photographer thought that we were gods. Um, and was very, very surprised when I had a white dress on. I've never been a goth. Uh, it's too much effort, to be fair. I do like black, but I've never been a goth. But he genuinely you, had it in cheerful. his head that I was a goth and that I was going to have a black a black dress on. And instead of saying, like, oh, you look really nice or whatever, he just went, well, that's not what I was expecting. It's like, hello, good morning. <laughs> Thanks. We saw him the other day. He was, he was nice. But he had been really taken aback apparently because he thought that he thought that everything was going to be black, that everything was just normal white colored. Yeah. We had a we had a topsy turvy cake. It was awesome. That was the fashion, though, wasn't it? It was very topsy turvy by the time we picked it up off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't that bad. It just had a massive split down it. <laughs> <laughs> So how's the grey going up there? Oh, All right. Is nice grey, that? Is that, is that this is, supposedly brown? This is dark umber. You know, it's, you've gone over by 10 minutes now by me just waffling on about... Yeah, yeah, I was. I didn't want to interrupt because I was listening to your beautiful voice. So yeah, so maybe that's, I think that looks alright, huh? Need to uh, just need to finish these couple of bits down the bottom here. I think that looks okay as a, as a first go. I'm going to do the rest of the haunt, the uh, spiky bits in the same colour, and then we'll highlight up from there. What uh, What do you all reckon to this evening's progress? I'm going to get that off there. Oh, sorry. Well, I asked the question. You're just going to sit and wait. Yeah. What uh, yeah? What do you all think? Is that does it look okay? Is the uh, the pink what you expected? Do you think it's uh, do you think it's going to look cool when it's all finished? Not much more to do, is there? Uh, I don't know. Just a fair bit really. Oh, Got to... I wasn't going to do anything else to the pink unless uh, anybody thinks suggests any uh, any upgrades. Open to suggestions. But yeah, I'm, li I'm liking that white. The uh, white. Liking this grey. The uh, the umber against it. I don't know whether to do these little bits here. I think that would be too much. If I do these little white toothed bits along the wings. Some yeah, I think that would be too much. Well, that's just my opinion. How, how raised no, up are uh, Fairly. Mm. So, let me show you that one. You have a look at that one and see what you think. Mm. Mm, yeah. Don't know. There's no, I think there's no going like back. A, if I, yeah, that's like the bone though, isn't it? I might have to have a look at uh, the painted example and see what I think. Don't be surprised if you uh, tune into More Christian Monday next week and you see that it's got like grey bits going up its wings. <laughs> Super. Right, so we're going to draw uh, draw this evening's stream to a close. Join us tomorrow for Two Paint Tuesday. Mrs. MLG will be working possibly on this guy right here. Oh, it's too small. It's going to be, Mrs. MLG is going to be working on something bigger tomorrow. Uh, does that mean I've got to find some? I don't think I don't think I should. I think it should just be you. No, no. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be uh, doing some uh, 
Goblin Wolf, uh, and some Batman, uh, no, 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 no. and some uh, some Orc Stalker. There we go, Orc Stalker, and then we've got some Lord of the Rings Orcs over here. Some uh, some more bones over there. There we go. Yeah, and then join us on Wednesday for something super exciting. Ooh. That's right. What are we doing on Wednesday? Wednesday? We're not doing anything on Wednesday, are we? Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, I have got something else that I might... We'll see how we get on. We might get on to this guy tomorrow. This is... I'm going to do this guy as my winged horror. This is one of the... Uh, horror? Cronus... Is it winged horror? Winged fury. Winged fury. For... Uh, the RCL because I want to paint this guy this demon um, who's from the Bones 5 stuff so I've got that at some point to, uh, to make a start on however yeah join us uh, join us on Wednesday at 8 p.m. I'm going to be doing some awesome stuff on uh, on Wednesday evening cool hi Vima Aqua have you just joined us I'm afraid we're just wrapping up we're just talking about on Wednesday we're going to be doing some D and D. Yeah. Which is the first time that we will have streamed it. Uh, well, hopefully ever. we'll get to stream. It's the first time ever, and it could all go terribly wrong. It's going to be absolutely great. It'll still be fun no matter what. So, so yeah. T P K. T P K. Yes. Okay. I don't <laughs> think so. We're too cunning for that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. No, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. We've got. Uh, if anything goes wrong, it'll be technical nonsense. Yeah, I've uh, brought a couple of resources home with me this evening for uh, for use. So we'll see how we get on. As long as I don't see any big, massive monsters kicking around, that's. Uh... No, no. <laughs> That'll be. Uh... For a first level character, so we can only face you with one dragon, can't we? <laughs> I did wonder what that what that has got brought home for. <laughs> right, anyway, we're going to say Super. goodbye, aren't we, my darling? We we are indeed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow night, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Take Thank care. You. Sorry for just waffling on about <laughs> <in> my. <mind. laughs> Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>